So, syempre, as with any business, pag nawala ang main factory mo, tagilid ka na. Buti na lang, sinagip siya ng isa pang beer company in the name of Stella Artois and helped Pierre to rebuild his brewery. However, as the story goes, when Stella Artois decided to merge with Pierre Bouf and as a result creating Interbrew Corporation, hindi nagkasundo si Celis at yung mga bagong partners niya who wanted to make changes with the recipe and make it more palatable to the masses. Pierre decided to just sell off his stake to Interbrew and thereby releasing control of the Whole Guardian brand. Then in 2004, Interbrew merged with Ambev, creating InBev Corporation. Then in 2008, InBev merged again with Anheuser Busch, creating AB InBev, which is by far the largest beer manufacturer and distributor in the world. understand Ho Garden better, alamin muna natin yung sinisimbolize ng logo niya. Well, the first symbol is a mash paddle, which is actually a tribute to the brewers of the town of Ho Garden. And the second symbol is a bishop's crozier, which is a symbol of power given by the Prince Bishop of Wheat. Wheat beer, or white beer in English, is a barley or wheat top fermented beer brewed mainly in Belgium and the Netherlands. Tinawag siyang white beer because it has a suspended yeast and white proteins which cause the beer to have a hazy or white color especially when it's cold. Whole Garden's main ingredients are the following water, yeast, wheat, hops, and meron dinagtag ang Whole Garden which is specific sa kanila is yung coriander and yung dried curacao which is also known as orange peel. Pag binubrew mo ang Whole Garden, apparently sa aming research, it's take longer than normal. The beer brewing itself would take weeks, even months. I-explain ko sa inyo kung paano ginagawa ang Whole Garden beer. Yung Whole Garden beer is actually fermented twice, but not filtered, resulting into the cloudy appearance of the smooth texture of the beer. So, ready ka na? Anigin na natin yung mga steps na ginagawa nila. To begin the process, Whole Garden germinates the barley and letting it dry. After which, the granules will be milled. Yung milling process actually takes 
8 days to do. Then the second step is to mix the batter of the malt and water in the tub. And then it will be granularly warmed into the temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. This process converts malt and wheat into a starch which then be converted into sugar. The process takes about 2 hours and 30 minutes. Then the third step is the filtering process. This separates the sweet solution of the wort from the insoluble residue. The wort is then sent in the cauldron and the remaining residue is used as animal feed. Ayos diba? Walang sayang dun sa mga ingredients na ginagamit nila. The fourth step is boiling. To sterilize the butter, the wort is heated inside the cauldron to about 103 degrees Celsius. During this phase, the coriander and the orange peel and the hops are added. After an hour of boiling, gagawin na natin yung fifth step. Kailangan tanggalin yung hops, herbs, and peels and let the liquid cool down. And once it reaches 19 degrees Celsius, it's ready for its five-day fermentation journey. Okay, sixth step na tayo. It's during the fermentation. So, Hogar then adds yeast dun sa product. Bakit? It's to convert sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The product is fermented at a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Kaya ito tinatawag na top fermented beer. So, on the seventh step, the product is cooled to about 18 degrees Celsius. This removes the young taste of the beer. A centrifuge is also used to remove the yeast. To stabilize the wheat beer, O-Garden pasteurizes the product. This step takes about 3 to 4 days. On the 8th step, we'll be filling the products in Whole Gardens bottles and barrels. This also takes about 3 to 4 days. Then finally, the last step, their signature fermentation method which is the secondary fermentation. This takes about 1 to 2 weeks. The process begins by taking the filled bottles or barrels into a warm room. Then they will add sugar and yeast to start the second fermentation which is about 21 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. By doing that, it creates a carbon dioxide which gives the beer a good taste. So after 2 weeks nun, ito na ang Ho Garden with beer mo. Para mas maayos natin ma-quantify yung review natin, we will divide this segment into 4 different categories, which is style, pricing, taste, and strength. All of which will be rated using a 5-point system, 5 being the best, 1 being the worst, which will be then summed up to give it its total score. Pag-usapan naman natin ang styling. Ito ang Ho Garden Beer Bottle. Alam nyo naman na siguro kung ano yung sabihin ng symbol, di ba? So, ang bote na to ay napaka sexy, di ba? Sexy! At uh, masasabi ko sa kanya, napaka uniquely Ho Garden nito. I think ito na yung bote niya simula rin nung nag-start ulit siya ng production. Marami din naka ano dito, yung mga naka-emboss, which is yung mga symbols niya. And meron din siya dito yung Ho Garden na nakasulat, which is naka-upside down siya. I think it's uh, dahil kailangan mo rin siya i-shake. At uh, dahil may mga sediments din siya napupunta dito, which is yung mga ingredients na kailangan mong gawin, which will, will be uh, explained later by my brother. Tapos yung mga information na nandito, uh, kompleto naman siya. At uh, meron din siya instructions dito, yung sinasabi ko sa'yo. Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo yung gagawin ng kapatid ko. At um, exports the brown bottle, uh, which uh, since dalawang beses na siya na-ferment, <laughs> sana hindi naman siya ma-ferment ng pangatlong beses. So, ang binibigay ko na score dito sa Ho Garden na styling, for styling ng Ho Garden, is 4.3. So, let's talk about the price. Ang isang bote na Ho Garden uh, wheat beer, this one is around 330 ml. It costs around 80 pesos sa SM Hypermarket. Hindi namin siya pinin sa 7-Eleven ngayon kasi for some reason, hindi na siya available doon. And as I always do, kapag nag-judge ako pagdating sa pricing, I always think about it if meron ako 500 piso sa bus ako. Pag bumunta ako sa SM, meron ako 500 piso, 500 piso sa bus ako, ilang ganyan ang mabibili ko? Makakabili ako ng 6. May sukli pa akong 20, I think. May sukli pa akong 20, tama. So, yung 6 na yun ba, enough ba kung ako nang iinom? I think ko, oh, think ko oh, that will be a fun night. Um, Mag-share ba ako sa 6? Yeah, bakit hindi? Kasi, ano siya eh, it's, it feels like it's, it's a kind of beer na gusto ko siyang inumin habang nag-relax ako. So, siguro mas maganda kung nagkasama ako. So, given that pricing, and it is an imported beer, um, 
it is an imported beer and 80 pesos for an imported beer is a little bit on the cheaper side. I would say I'd give this a 4 out of 5. Okay, let's talk about the taste. Pero bago ang lahat, Roll BDR. Ang galing na video, di ba? Kanina pa yun, kaya medyo flat na siya. Sorry. Pero anyway, kaya natin ginagawa yun. Kasi nga, di ba, may particulate matters na lumulutan ko siya somewhere here. So, kapag matagal siya sa storage, nagsasettle down siya sa baba and you have to shake it a little para sumama yung lahat ng flavors. Kasi lahat ng particles niya yung flavors yun eh. And actually, napansin namin kanina na medyo orange yung kulay niya ng powder. So, I'm thinking yun yung kurasaw or yung dried orange peel. So, anyway, a little background lang yun. So, let's give it a taste. Pinagandaan namin ito ngayon kasi malalit siya. Beverage, alcoholic beverages. Medyo warming yung feel niya. Pero ito, it's actually refreshing. And actually, I could enjoy this. Actually, kung if you buy like a six pack of this, kaya mo ubusin to ng yung chill out lang. And tama niya sabi ng brother ko, hindi, hindi talaga to good with food, I think. Parang it's better of like drinking alone na for chill out nights. Uh, dahil din sa mga nasabi ko, uh, since it's easy to drink and it's a beer, uh, it's a good tasting beer, I'll give this a 4.7 for strength. Kasi kitol, isummarize na natin yung mga napag-usapan natin sa... By the way, bago ang lahat ng kamas ng liquor bar, <laughs> nauhaw kayo ano? <laughs> We yes. miss it either. Yeah, and, and talagang tagal din namin hindi nakagawa ng beer review and I really love the fact that we started it again. Cougar then. Yes, we did. By the way, kami uminom natin. Cheers! <laughs> okay. Well, start with the summer. Okay, so, so simulan natin sa styling. So for styling, binigay ko is 4.3 stars. Okay, so for pricing, I gave it a 4. For beer strength, it's 4.7, and for taste, I give it a 5. So, imat natin yan. 
17.9 stars out of a possible 20. Yeah. So going back to our beer review, Tati Sheets, it's our new number one beer. Yay! For like for Ho Garden, pinado na yung mga yakuza. The Belgians beat the yakuza. <laughs> well, kung makikita nyo yung sa Tati Sheets natin before, the second one done is which is a Thai, which is yung Kirin and yung Asahi beer. So, um, well, the Yakuza has been beaten, yeah. and um, but you can always you will, you can always give it to the Japanese to come back. So, and guys, um, hindi sa na kami ng comment nyo. Um, yes, very important. Uh, we're trying to make up kung anong susunod naming beer review. Yes. So, kung may mga suggestions kayo, that will be very yeah. helpful. Yes, please. Uh, drop us a comment yes. below at uh, kung ano yung magiging beer review namin mm -hmm. susunod which is yes. yung episode I have no idea <laughs> <laughs> 7 or 8 yes yeah, somewhere yeah. somewhere somewhere there yeah. okay so matutulog pa ako kasi may ride pa ako buwas nabangan nyo rin yung mga susunod yung mga tambay at saka mga susunod na okay. polutan toy style style polutan and beer education di pa namin nakakalimutan yun may episode 5 pa yun tayo na kayo uh, may social distancing ba yes. baka madelay pa ng konti kasi so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again. We'll see you again. Cheers guys. Cheers. Kapalaran kapalang. Maabot mo ang pangarap mo pa nag-like and nag-subscribe ka. Pag hindi, maabot mo pa rin. Mas mahirap lang. Au revoir!